some people think of outreach as like I said a thousand messages every day and like one replies. If you put in the time and effort, you have to send the less because they're more valuable, which means to get more clients. I remember the first time I got like 1k in the bank from a client, bro, I was on the top of the world. I couldn't believe <laughs> I would be making 10k eight months later. What would you say to Ja eight months ago? So we're here today with Ja. That's how you pronounce your name, right? Yep. Yeah. Ja is one of the biggest killers inside our community, VP+. Plus. He just hit 10k a month or has been up 10k a month for a few months but you know what i'll let you introduce yourself tell us what you do cool so uh i'm Jia. i'm a 18 year old video editor from finland and uh currently i make from 9 to 11k a month and uh i've been a part of vp plus for uh about eight eight months now and uh yeah awesome bro eight months and you're doing incredibly well I remember when I when I started in eight months, I was still editing videos for like thirty bucks. So <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty cool, bro. I mean, Love I mean, it. the first project I ever did was like thirty six dollars. So I really yeah. okay, yeah, cool. So I already beat you. Yeah, I already yeah. beat you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, bro. Yeah. Well, I I love I love to hear kind of your like your story before VP Plus. What were you doing, and then we can move mm -hmm. on to other ones. So what were you doing before VP Plus? Yeah. So. As far as like uh, making money online, I started in the last year's May, June, I guess. So mm -hmm. yeah, I first I joined uh, Andrew Tate's The Real World, which was oh, really? uh, like an introduction to like how to make money online. So I kind of got used to the idea like, okay, you can actually make money from just sitting on your ass on the computer. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I went through the courses, the materials, and they said to like pick a skill. And I thought like, well, I've done YouTube a bit, like I've done some game videos. Maybe I'll try video editing because I edited my own videos back then. Okay. So let me just try that. Okay, let's try something cool. And then I got really into editing. Well, like, uh, okay, how do I make this good? Like, how do I get more money video editing? Because I was doing like one to two K. Mm. So then I discovered like, okay, there's like a bunch of different communities on how to video edit. So then I like looked at the best ones looked at like okay let's see this vp plus it's pretty cheap okay let's join let's see some content from there and uh i joined and uh yeah here i am like eight, wow. eight, eight, eight months later yeah eight months later now you're absolutely yeah. crushing it bro from like yeah. so you joined when you were around like two thousand a month yeah i mean 2.5 max because i remember i did like yeah, I'd say 2.5k max. Like that was the best I ever did before. And what plus. what were you doing to get clients and and do work? Like, where were you finding them? What kind of videos were you doing? Uh, I think the first thing I ever did to get clients was set up a Gumroad and a Fiverr account. So oh, wow. I just immediately thought, like, okay, I can't. I don't know how to do outreach. Let the clients just come to me and I'll make some fancy videos in the introduction page. But uh, I got some clients from that, but uh, I realized like I have to actually do outreach. And uh, yeah, from VP Plus, I actually learned how to outreach properly. Okay. So you were outreaching and that's how you got to 2K a month? Yeah. Like once I started outreaching, I actually started finding like high level clients. Oh, wow. And where would you find them usually? Uh, YouTube is the best place, uh, at least in my opinion. Since like TikTok tends to be TikTok and IG tend to be full of like fast paced dopamine, you know, and the the footage, uh, the content there is a bit more of fast paced than it is on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are approaching clients that wanted slower paced content. Yeah, I guess in the in the middle, like not like Sam Sulek level, like no oh, music, yeah. no cuts, nothing, but like in the middle, because I don't like to, because I see like a lot of people put hours and hours, even days into like fast paced motion graphics and stuff like that. But it's it takes a long time and the reward usually isn't up to, uh, isn't equal to the time you're spending. So I mm. I wanted to go in the middle, maximize profits, but also like have time to get more clients awesome okay i see yeah like you had the right mindset there because mm. you knew that you wanted to maximize your income uh, mm. without 
maximizing the amount of work you had to do. So that's pretty yeah, smart. Yeah, exactly. It's, it sounds lazy, but like I thought of it like, why am I actually doing this? I want to get paid. So like I can't be spending all my time doing edits. I have to actually spend my time like, okay, how can I make this quick? Okay, he wants it like this, but I'm going to do it like this. Just like try to cut corners a bit, but mm. I still end up with a, with a product that's up to the standard of the client. Okay, so so try and meet the client's needs without having to kill yourself trying to edit, basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, of course, of course, quality and value come first, absolutely. Yeah. Like I, yeah, not to like, but like to do it fast and efficient, so you have time to do it more. To okay, and and how do you do that? Do you build some systems? Do you have shortcuts? How do you edit so fast? Yeah, so in the beginning it's hard because like once you get like a new client, it's gonna be. It's going to take like a week to find out, okay, how does this guy actually want me to do them? But like, let's say you're doing shorts, you you usually have uh, can make your own system. For me, it's like if I uh, I have a client who drops like an hour hour's worth of podcasts and I have to make TikToks from them. So he drops the a podcast episode. I watch through it and I mark down all the interesting bits. I do that again, but for only the bits I've marked and do the same, and then I have to clip for it. I then okay. uh, do the effects, add the music, and leave the subtitles for last, since like they mm. tend to be the most time consuming, consuming mm. especially if it's in my local language, which is Finnish, because there is no presets for uh, Finnish, for Finnish, except, oh. like, except maybe, um, I think, Submatch uh, does them, but they do it bad. Really... So. You're really struggling yeah. there trying to get subtitles in Finnish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to do it manually every single oh episode. My... It's, it's, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh my days. Yeah. Could it? Couldn't you do them? I oh, know, but they speak. Nah, never mind. I was gonna say, mm -hmm. could you not do them in English, but then like, like get the pace in, but then they speak obviously in um, mm -hmm. in Finnish. No, that that's yeah, the crazy. dialect doesn't like match. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so what you did is you essentially found yourself dialing in your system so you became very efficient with editing and so mm -hmm. every client you got you weren't kind of stuck just fulfilling the work because i find that some mm -hmm. editors when they get to your stage they basically just have like a nine to five where they're always working really hard nine to nine they, they nine, nine to nine finish. yeah yeah <laughs> just work all the time yeah yeah, yeah exactly. so are you experiencing that right now or are you fixing this mm -hmm. reality i think i yeah, I think I think I fixed it yesterday when I finished all my work because like I had a <laughs> like the past thirty days I had like a huge stretch of work that I like had to constantly think about. I had like hold on, I think I posted it in VP Plus. I had three hundred and sixty videos I did and over five hundred revisions for said videos. Oh my god, that's that's <laughs> some statistics right there. Yeah, I mean, but <laughs> it was yeah. So, so it was. It sound sounded like easy, like okay, I'll do I'll do nine to eighteen a day, but like it gets to like when you're in day eighteen of it, it it's 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 a grind. You, you want to do yeah, so you want to grind more. So you think of it like okay, I'll sleep two hours less so I can work on this, so I'm ahead of myself tomorrow. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's a common thing, especially for me, because like when I get a project, I want to do it like now. I want it to be done as soon as I can. So I usually, for the if it's like a week long project, I stay up like almost all night for the first two days. So I'm ahead of myself, and then the first, third, and the fourth day, I just do it like in a normal pace, so I can finish it much more quickly. I see. Okay, that's pretty good. You 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 very uh try to squeeze as much time as you can from yeah. the project so you don't spend too much time on it. So yeah, exactly. Like do the do the hard part and fast. Yeah. Yeah, get it out of the way. So when you joined VP Plus, what was the biggest thing that that changed for you when you joined? I saw um, when I joined, I you just did like a they uh, they did like a case study on Nico who was like a huge huge uh, member at the time, and I like a, seeing the examples of editors helped a lot because I just copied what Nico did and I started getting more higher value clients. So right. I think that yeah the community is a, a huge part like because you can drop some 
videos in there and say like, oh, did I do this right? What do you think about this? What does this effect look like to you? And the community and the examples are a huge part, and especially the courses, because about especially about outreach, since I think outreach mm. is highly underappreciated in video editing. Since like the editing is one thing, but actually getting the clients is another. So yeah, yeah I'd say yeah, I'd say like the the examples are the best part. Of the, the community is the second, and the the material is the third. Not to I say mean, like the courses suck or anything, but I. <laughs> no, no, that's good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you every that's what we have in the community we have the coaching mm -hmm. we have the community and then uh like we have, we have the actual courses um mm -hmm. like all of the all of those parts are, are, are really important so you yeah. essentially copied what nico did and what, what was that exactly yeah so nico did a, a post on x for uh jinx i think he was like a streamer or something i don't know i don't follow twitch streamers yeah so he did it like a post on the, uh like a before and after which is what you teach in the blue bath so he did that and he got the got the client i wanted to do that also for a local client of mine but i did it in my own way i because they don't have like any like x profile or nothing so i just did i re-edited uh a clip from their podcast i do it in three different styles and i just sent them to them on ig and on email and then they saw saw the post replied and i got the job Easy. amazing that's incredible yeah. so you you just that's exactly what we teach inside it's just you want to give value yeah. first and then they're gonna listen to you very yeah, exactly. you're right under utilizing editing a lot of editors want to attract clients only which is fine but I struggle to know any agency owner that's doing six figures that doesn't do outreach. Like, I know it's yeah. a lot of work, but you got a client like that from it. So it's 100% yeah. worth yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like some people think of it, think of outreach as like, I sent a thousand messages every day and like one replies or something. I mean, that's dependent on the outreach. If you put in the time and effort, you have to send the less because they're more valuable and more people tend to appreciate them which means uh, you get more clients exactly 100 percent. awesome dude so you're on track to basically be becoming a six-figure video editor what would you say is your like your next stage where do you want to be i think um as far as editing is concerned i think i'm like i mean i can always get a higher paying client or something like that, but i'm thinking of like trying to more delve into teaching my journey and how to like fast track into the five figure salary. But uh, I still have a lot to learn. I, I, I'm still, uh, this is like my first year so like up now. So I think I'm gonna continue video editing for like two years, maybe one year, and then start to like, uh, along the way start to document it and actually start to teach it to people since like that. i've had a lot of people especially in vp plus ask like how did you do it in one year how did you get to 10k like yeah. and it's 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 amazing to hear also but i think like trying to get to more of like a mentor stage where you s tell the people what you did and uh giving like a roadmap to follow i love that my next step since like i'm always trying to get more money in, and that's not like i'm greedy but i also want to make people have value from my product so like teaching what i did to others yeah. i think it's it's that's beautiful step. i love to hear that bro you have any plans for doing an agency or do you want, only want to just do editing edit yourself you don't want to hire people mm maybe once i start content creation since so, so, i mean i've started a content creation but like one video a week so like i think at some stage i have to delegate some of the work to other people or then just do less if that's an option mm. but to yeah i have to get rid of this like because uh, i edit like 10 to 12 hours a day easily so i have to cut down on the work so i can uh, focus on the content creation more but uh as far as agencies are concerned i don't think i'm gonna dive into that yeah so yeah. when you when you think of agency what do you think of nothing uh, i think like 
agency reminds me of like a team almost like now some people think of agencies as like a huge company or something but i just think of it like five people on a studio they have like a film guy they have like a photographer like a film guy and uh the editors and the producers and stuff like that so like a small okay. compact team yeah yeah uh, you definitely do get those kind of agencies that do that kind of content creation you also get mm -hmm. like boutique agencies or you also get personal brand agencies so someone like mm -hmm. you jar since you're attracting so many clients you are basically already an agency what you need to do is hire mm -hmm. one or two editors to fulfill the videos and then you will find yourself attracting work and then you take mm. the profits and you have a team and you all build together. And then you don't have to become an entity like job production. Yeah, exactly. You don't, yeah. you don't have, yeah, you don't yeah. have to do that always. Mm. Sometimes yeah. you can just be Ja makes videos and mm. he brings in the clients. Yeah. That, yeah. That's absolutely true. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. That's, that's a good point. And uh, yeah, I think that's definitely an option to like think about in the future, especially since I'm going to be, moving towards documenting my journey and making a brand off of that that i can monetize via, via my products or services so yeah yeah that's that's definitely something i have to exactly so what i'm seeing through. what i'm seeing right now is you have people who are personal brands they teach they could do content where they teach online um mm -hmm. they can be doing videos they can have products and on the back end right at the back they have an agency where people can actually just mm -hmm. work with them directly so you're, you're like a attractor of clients and underneath you have products, you have coaching, you have your, your service, your done for you service. And you basically just become a person that, that mm. is like the agency without having it to start again and build a business and have te multiple teams and have a big name. Yeah, so you yeah, can't, yeah, yeah you're just, uh, you're basically just the name for the whole entity of products. Like. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, um, that's super cool, bro. What would you say to Ja eight months ago before he started BP Plus? What would you say to him? Like one thing that will absolutely change his mindset and fast track, even though eight months is pretty impressive. What would you do and say to him? I don't know, because I've always wondered about this. Like, would, would I say anything to my younger self? Since like I'm at the point of like, I mean, of course I did mistakes, everyone did, but like maybe, maybe just uh, appreciate outreach more, like delve even more into outreach and uh, try, uh, selling, I guess. So like being a better communicator, sending better outreaches to higher influencers maybe, so. I, like I don't know. I, I, I probably wouldn't say anything since like, I think Ja eight months ago would be like, wouldn't even believe where I'm at right now. Cause I was really? working in the factory for like 2k a month. Like, really? Yeah. Cause uh, we had to, for school, you have to go for like 10 weeks. You have to go find a job that's relating to my industry, which was electricity. So I went to work in like a factory for 10 week, 10 weeks alongside me video editing and i remember the first time i got like 1k in the bank from a client i was like bro i was on the top of the world i couldn't believe <laughs> i would be making 10k eight months later so you did it bro. i don't know i yeah i wouldn't say anything to my younger self i just say like yeah keep going like go yeah yeah just keep doing it just don't stop yeah. that's that's awesome yeah. bro I, I really appreciate the um that that incredible source um mm -hmm. I mean, what, what would you say to anybody who's on the fence of joining VP plus? Like what, what, what do you think that is the biggest value that they can get? And would you recommend it? Um, uh, I mean, for me, it was always the examples and the, and the community itself since, uh, but yeah, I just say like, take the chance. It's not like, it's not a huge amount of money you're going to pay a month. Even though the uh, the price is uh, increased, it's not that much. It's like, what's the current price? Fifty it's bucks. 50. Yeah, so fifty bucks. You you're not gonna go broke if you just just save like a week's worth of groceries, and you can pretty much buy BP Plus. Try it for a month. If it's not for you, then quit. But like, 
I'm guaranteeing ev every editor in here would benefit from BP plus. Awesome, bro. Absolutely. Happy to hear. Yeah. That's, that's really nice to hear, bro. Thank you. Where can people find you if they want to know more about you, work with you or have some questions? Yeah. So Twitter slash X is my main platform right now. You can find me posting lifestyle updates and uh, sometimes editing tips and stuff like that. But it's you can easily contact me on X. I reply to most of my DMs. So if there's anything you want to work with me or uh, anything, just hit me up there. Love that, bro. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for sharing, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem.